Hello everyone, Jonathan Burns here and it's time for Tuesday Tips. Tuesday Tips is just a program for you and for me to take our Bibles and learn more about God's Word. On this edition of Tuesday Tips, we're still looking at practical tips from poetry. And these practical tips from poetry will help us learn how to live, learn how to resolve our minds, and help us learn how to focus in this life. Life can be chaotic. We need a grounding inside of truth. Today we're going to talk about our hearts. And really what we're talking about is our mind. All in a title, The Heart We Use. Each and every day we use our hearts to make decisions. And the heart, it's valuable. It can be wise. But there's something about our hearts that we need to remember. The heart can cause great problems. In order to learn more about our hearts, I want us to learn from the book of Ecclesiastes today. And I want us to look at this man who wrote and he says, I was searching for happiness. I was searching for satisfaction. And he says throughout this book, I've searched in every facet of life, yet I could not find any without God. We'll see more about that in just a moment. But when it comes to the heart, you and I need to recognize that the heart it might speak falsely. Ecclesiastes 2.1, I said in my heart, come now, I will test you with mirth, therefore enjoy, enjoy pleasure, but surely this also was vanity. Chapter 2 opens up talking about self-indulgence. In other words, looking out in life for all the things that are going to make me happy. I call this Burger King living. Burger King in the United States used to run a slogan entitled, Have It Your Way. In other words, you come to our restaurant, you order it how you want, and that's how you're going to get it. Have it your way. And many times in life, we try to have it our way. I think this will make me happy. It doesn't. Oh, this will make me happy. It doesn't. Surely this will make me happy. It doesn't. It might speak falsely. And this writer, by the way, he says, I've searched everywhere for everything and I haven't found anything that makes me happy. Come now, let's go for pleasure. It might speak falsely. Not only can the heart lead us in the wrong direction, speak falsely, the heart might be altered. Ecclesiastes 7, 7, Surely oppression destroys a wise man's reason and a bribe debases the heart. In a chapter, chapter 7, about the difference between wisdom and folly, being like a child, acting like a child, living like a child, foolish living, he says that life sometimes beats man down and it destroys the way you might think. He says, but also a bribe. It might debase the mind, the heart. The heart can be altered. We can trick ourselves. Others may trick us or we might be enticed to follow after something we know is not right. But not only can it be altered, the heart is something that can be trained. Ecclesiastes 11.10 Therefore, remove sorrow. Remove sorrow from your heart and put away evil from your flesh. For childhood and youth are vanity. Acting like a child is not going to give you life, happiness, fulfillment. Living like a child is not going to give you happiness, fulfillment, but it can be trained. Chapter 11 in the book of Ecclesiastes is about getting your attitude right. And by the way, can I ask you an honest question? Do we sometimes need an attitude adjustment? We do if we're honest with things. So the book of Ecclesiastes tells me all about my heart. But how do I put all this into focus? How do I get my heart right? How do I do what I need to do? Well, let's hear the conclusion about the heart. Ecclesiastes 12, 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep His commandments, for this is man's all. The best thing we can do, the best advice we can give, is get your heart right. Follow God. Hear the conclusion of everything. Keep His commandments and respect Him as you should. Because the heart, 
the heart can cause great problems. Don't let your heart that you use each and every day drive you away. Maybe you'd like to learn more about your heart. If, if you're in the area of Asia, maybe think about going to Singapore. And while you travel to Singapore, go and find the folks at the Jurong Church of Christ. Search them out on Facebook. There you can find their information about where their location is, their website, and everything they do. Search out the Jurong Church of Christ and learn more about how your heart can be trained. For now, I'm Jonathan Burns. Thanks for joining me on Tuesday Tips practical tips from poetry.